um, because you are really the alternative choice to uh, traditional financing, right? Uh, yeah. You, you made mention of, of one really cool tool, which is a lease option purchase, which I yeah. want to jump into because it's done wrong. Oh, it's done wrong all the time. All of yeah, the time. A lot. And, and yeah. I just want to go out to my realtor partners that have advised these things to happen. Like legal zoom is not your friend. People do it <laughs> the right way. Um, yeah. and, and then seller carried finance. So those are the two things that, that I know you're an expert in. And I wanted to share with our viewers out there to say, yeah. Hey, we can look at the real estate market in some different avenues. So let's yeah. jump into a lease option purchase. And, right. And I'm pretty sure they're illegal, right? Say again. I'm pretty sure they're illegal, right? That is the <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the go to that people go with. Um, they, they either give you that deer in the headlights look like. Yeah. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, or they go, oh, that's illegal. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. um, maybe a little news flash <laughs> banner down here. Lease option purchases are not illegal. They just need to be done right. And, and so just need to do them right. Wow. Yeah, tell us what a lease option is, Mariska. Well, very simply, um, it, it's two parts. It's mm -hmm. a lease, which, you know, has all the things that go along with a lease. Like to rent a and, house. Like rent a house, yeah. right? Or rent an apartment or rent a, a commercial building or whatever. It's actually done uh, probably more frequently in commercial uh, Way more at, frequently. You know, yeah. Yeah. arenas than, it, than it's done in the residential realm. But it's a wonderful tool for the residential realm, whether you're a buyer or a seller, by the way, it, it doesn't just have to benefit one party. It can benefit, you know, both parties. So, um, but it's a lease and then it's an option to buy. And an option is a special agreement between the buyer and the seller where the seller is, the seller agrees to sell this house to the buyer for a specified price for a specified period of time it could be three months it could be three years whatever right but it's a it's, it's memorialized on paper and and in exchange for holding that property uh exclusively for them so the seller can't just go off and sell it to someone else they have to agree to sell that uh option that property to the buyer they have an exclusive option to buy and um and in exchange for that, the seller receives some consideration. What is consideration? That is a, 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 an amount of money. And yes. so um, and so the seller receives an amount of money in agreement to hold this property. Now, what are the buyer's obligations? Well, they're not obligated to anything, really. Mm -hmm. um, they have the option, but not the obligation to purchase the property. Now, it makes sense, of course, when you're structuring this deal that you want to make sure that the buyer has or will have the ability to purchase. And right. there's a number of ways and we can talk about how that might work, but you don't ever want to put somebody in a situation where they have no chance of ever being able to buy that home. It needs to make sense. The monthly payment needs to make sense, you know, all of those things. But in exchange for that, the seller may you know, let's just say that they have a five hundred thousand dollar house, and the market has you know kind of slipped a little bit, and, and they just don't want to let it go for four seventy five. Um, they might find someone who wants to buy that house or wants to lease it with an option to buy. They agree to pay five hundred thousand, or possibly even a little bit more. Who knows? Because because yeah. yep. this is an amenity, right? This is right. this is like having you know hardwood floors or granite countertops. And so you might pay a little bit more for that in exchange to having the luxury of time before you exercised your option to buy. Yeah. And, you know, once they do that, you know, then at that point when, when the time comes, you know, well, maybe they can get bank financing at that point. There might also be other alternatives or they could walk away. But the benefit to the seller is that um, A, they have a tenant who isn't just a serial renter. They have somebody who is planning to buy the home. So who's going to take better care of the house, a renter or a, or a future homeowner? That's a great I mean, point. 
in my experience, it's been the few. So even when I've had lease option tenants who, for whatever reason, can't buy or or something has happened in their life and they've chosen not to, right. they usually are apologetic to me and they say, gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm not able to buy. And but they've taken, you know, nine times out of 10, they've taken really good care of the property and sometimes even improved it. Right. And, and it's so common that people have a situation that they don't want to purchase right now, yeah. but they know it's a good time. They found yeah. what they want. They just don't have the capability right now, whether it be their job is they're going to be getting a big bonus coming up or they're going to be getting a promotion or they just moved to the area and they're not sure they're going to stay. There's so yeah. many times. There's this such good reason. Fit. Yeah. You know? exactly. Yeah. And, exactly. And, and I just want to go back really quick and make sure everybody gets this clear in their minds that like there's one lease and then there's an option to buy. It's like a compound sentence, right? There's there's a comma in there. So there's the lease, just normal rent in the house, right? And then there's the option to purchase. And, and you mentioned, Marishka, that there's a consideration. Is that consideration like paid down towards towards like a lump sum? Like, hey, I'll give you $10,000 at the signing or is it like during a monthly payment or how does the consideration Yeah, for the, the answer is yo. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a yes? No, <laughs> that's a, that's a, I mean, it, it, the answer is it depends. So, okay. um, you know, a, a, an upfront option consideration fee is, 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 you know, something that I think is uh, worthwhile to do. It, it shows it demonstrates skin in the game. It demonstrates yeah. some financial um, ability. Um, but in some situations, I've even taken part of a uh, option consideration up front. And okay. then maybe a note and received payments for the remainder because maybe I wanted right. a a $30,000 option fee and they only had 20000 right now, okay. you know, but I felt that they were otherwise, you know, good tenants and they really want, you know, they, they had the ability, you know, once they took care of A, B and C, you know, to, to buy the home and they really wanted to buy the home and, and we weren't stre- over stretching their budget, you right. know, so it has to make sense again. And this is the really cool thing about doing this is it's customizable every oh, totally. single time. Whereas when you're working with a bank, here are the rules and they just Typically. rarely <laughs> switch them. Sorry, rarely switch them up. But um, they're printed out in manuals and stuff. Out. So, if you, but so many people yeah. have unique circumstances yeah. Yeah. and you know, yeah, like say, say I want to buy this house and I'm going to be getting a $10,000 bonus. And all I have right now is, is 20,000 and you want 30,000 for the option consideration in a few months, I'm going to have that $10,000 bonus, or I'm working a second job and, and I'll have that for right. you over the next few months or something. Yeah. Customizable. We, we all know that there's people out there that we would not let borrow money from oh, heck yeah and there's people out there that might be a little rough on the qualifications but we would have no problem loaning to them yeah. so it really really allows us to dive in and figure something out that works for character matters person. exactly yeah. character does matter and i'm <laughs>